Hello everyone, it's Helder here, and today I wanted to talk a bit about uh, this antenna. Okay, it is a deluxe model roll-up, 2 meter, 70 centimeter, J-pole Slim Jim antenna. Uh, it's a deluxe model because it has an extra 10 feet of coax cable. Uh, once again, that's an option that you can get. I purchased this on eBay from Nelson uh, Antennas about two years ago. Uh, and it has been uh, doing really well for me, both indoors in an emergency situation. And of course, once you take it outdoors, uh, it opens up a heck of a lot more. Uh, generally, I have this uh, diamond uh, rubber ducky, which does really well and performs really well for me. Uh, but when you just need a little bit more or can't reach those uh, specific repeaters that you're trying to reach, uh, even in an indoor uh, base station application, uh, I really do uh, recommend uh, this Slim Jim. Uh, first of all, it's portable. It weighs, uh, I think, about three or four ounces. Um, once again, the connector, I have an SMA connector because that's what I need here uh, for my Yezu uh, VX8DR. Uh, but once again, you can get whatever connector. Uh, you just have to email uh, Nelson Antennas their uh, your specifications, and he'll make that for you. But with our members that are just getting into ham radio, with, uh, of course, a little bit of nudge from me, uh, this is actually working out really well because of all the factors. Uh, it's super lightweight, so it can go in your backpack, and you don't have to think twice about it or pretty much anywhere. Um, once again, I'm monitoring the uh, local police station here, so that's where the noise is coming in. Uh, just some interesting things that were going on this morning, and uh, I just want to stay tuned, but I have it pretty low, so it shouldn't affect this review. Um, so once again, the uh, the use, uh, the best bang for your buck. Once again, I have used it indoors, and I have used it um, a lot uh, to get to certain repeaters or certain uh, stations that I can't get to, uh, generally, uh, with the rubber duck uh, antenna, regardless of how good it really does perform. So for those members that are starting out, don't want to invest a lot of money, uh, want to have something that's versatile, versatile, both indoors and outdoors, and of course on VHF and UHF, uh, once again, I don't think you could go wrong. Uh, the quality uh, on uh, this antenna is very impressive. I mean, just really, really well made. He thought of everything, didn't really skimp on any of the, uh, the components. All right, so everything's really well made. Um, even a little clip at the end, uh, which you can't see because I kind of have it tucked in. Uh, that has a little bit of a loop so that if you want to send it up into a tree, tie some 550 cord on there, which is usually what we do, uh, tie the other end to a stick, throw it over a branch, and now you're good to go and still have this extra 10 feet of coax. And you could actually even get more, um, of course, for, for a, a nominal fee. So if you wanted to add another 10 feet and get an extension cable, so on and so forth, uh, Nelson Antennas does make that available. All right, let's see if we can get a, a couple stations. Uh, a couple repeaters that I definitely can get uh, with my diamond uh, antenna, all right, the rubber ducky. And since we are reviewing this uh, Slim Jim, I want to go ahead and see if I could actually reach uh, these repeaters that I can't uh, with the rubber ducky. So let's go ahead and uh, see what we get. W2NTC testing. All right, so you could tell I could reach that loud and clear, which is nice uh, for a change because I usually do have the rubber ducky on. I do uh, most of my monitoring uh, when I'm out and about in the Jeep and uh, usually when I'm, you know, hiking or, or uh, taking dogs for, the, for a walk or tracking uh, things of that nature. And of course, for emergency purposes, uh, that's why it's nice and easy to go ahead and deploy um, this antenna. So let's go ahead and uh, switch to a uh, different station here. So another one here, uh, station number seven, is another station, another repeater that's 20-some-odd. Uh, uh, once again, I'm monitoring everything here on repeater book to see what the actual distance is. And we'll go ahead and test and transmit once again uh, with the rubber ducky uh, diamond. All right, this one here, I definitely cannot reach um, these, uh, these repeaters. So just for the purpose of this review, W2NTC testing. Okay, so we could tell you could reach that one. Good stuff. Okay, we'll give one more a try. Number 15 here on my... Uh... Engage that time. Oh, there's somebody there. And this one, I think, is located actually in Newark, uh, which isn't that far from here, but I definitely uh, cannot reach it uh, once again with the diamond, with the rubber ducky, and we'll go ahead and try and reach it with 
the Slim Jim. W2NTC testing. Okay, so we got that one through. So three for three. All right, we could do this for a heck of a lot longer, but I'm not going to bore you and or waste my time. So once again, hopefully I got the point across, uh, especially to our newer members that have been asking me questions uh, about antennas and uh, inexpensive ways, and of course, more versatility, uh, more uh, bang for the buck. And uh, once again, this is just the beginning. Uh, if you do decide to get into the hobby and not just for emergency purposes, uh, what a lot of my uh, Elmers tell me or the people that are, that are helping me and teaching me is that I'll end up having uh, an antenna farm uh, pretty soon. So that seems to be like the running joke. And little by little, the more that I try to maintain the uh, minimalist approach, the more that I tend to collect, all right? So once again, if you're looking for an antenna that's inexpensive, all right, something that you're gonna be able to take anywhere because it's so light, you could just roll it up uh, you know, put it in your pack and kind of forget about it, put it in your car, put it in your truck. Uh, once again, uh, have it uh, at home, all right, for a base uh, setup, pretty much the way that I have it here. Uh, not ideal, but just imagine if it is working in here for you, uh, imagine what happens when you do go outside and uh, hang it high and, and uh, no obstructions. You're just gonna bode that much better, all right? But for the purposes that we're testing it here, uh, I just wanted to show you its uh, indoor application. All right, and don't forget that, uh, like we said, the expense, uh, the way that it's built, it's uh, made in the USA, all right, which is another uh, great thing for us uh, veterans <laughs> that are always uh, concerned and try to support the, uh, the local merchants. And, uh, and that's basically it. So that concludes uh, this uh, review on the J-Pole, all right, um, Slim Jim, or J-Pole type Slim Jim antenna by Nelson Antennas. Uh, once again, this is Helder. W2, November Tango Charlie, and I am out, 73s.